Hi, I'm Tara Jones from Peaceful Solutions, and this is my horse Tigger. Today we're going to demonstrate for you the calm down cue, which is also a relaxation cue. So the first thing that you want to do is outfit your horse in a snaffle bit. And the reason that I do that is because a snaffle bit is pressure for pressure. So I can teach my horse to be on contact and have a connection. This isn't the bit that I run my horse in when I actually do barrel race, but for most of the training, I do use a snaffle bit. It's a little bit easier for the horse to, to understand what it is that you're asking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this cue on the ground. This right hand does nothing, but it's only gonna hold the rein from flying over Tigger's head. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna hold near the bit. I'm gonna pick my hand up so it's almost as if I'm making a smile line on Tigger's corner of his mouth, picking up in an upward motion. When Tigger starts to drop his head in response to that pressure, I'm going to immediately release the rein. Why is this cue important? Because anytime a horse's head is above the withers, I always say, they have no brain. When the ears are at least level with the withers, you're starting to gain focus. When the ears are actually lower than the chest, it's an instant relaxation cue for the horse because the heart rate drops. So this cue is extremely useful, not only to get the horse to relax, but it's also useful to get the horse to extend the neck, drop and lower the head, open up the gullet, and reach forward in front of vertical. All of that stuff will bring forth contact and connection, which is very important in barrel racing. Oftentimes when horses run through the alley, their heads are high, they're off contact, and a lot of times riders have no control at that point. This cue will give you the option to be able to get your horse back on that contact and start to focus on you. There are a couple things when you're doing this cue. Keep your head away from the horse's uh, top of the ears just in case the horse's reaction at first when you pick up on the rein will be to bring its head up. You don't want to get hit in the face. So make sure that you leave your head to the side. Okay? If the horse is rude at any point, so right there Tigger's kind of displaying he's not being so polite, he's kind of shaking and tossing his head. Put your knuckles right at the cheek, keep your hand firm and consistent, and wait for him to drop the head in response to that pressure, even if it's just a quarter of an inch. So my end goal is gonna be that he's gonna drop his nose all the way down to the ground. The last six inches are the hardest, and you wanna keep working on it until you can get the horse to completely drop the head and the nose is dirty. You wanna do this on both sides until the horse understands that either side that you pick up on the rein, they will instantly drop their head all the way to the ground. When they start to leave their head down there for 14 seconds without you touching the rein, you're starting to get it. So, then you're gonna move on to actually asking the horse to walk forward and put the head down. So I have out here, I've set up three patterns and I'm gonna ask Tigger to just walk through this pattern with me. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him forward with a cue with my bamboo stick. So I'm gonna tap his hip until he starts walking forward. When he does walk forward, I'm gonna immediately walk next to him. And what I'm looking for in this pattern is that his ears drop and are level with his wither. And I'm gonna walk right through the pattern as if I was running it when I'm at the show. But what my goal is here is for Tigger's head to stay in between his two front feet, for his ears to be at least level with his withers or a little bit lower. Every time he wants to step back, I'm gonna add the bamboo stick and tell him to walk forward. I want his nose to be slightly in front of vertical, and I want him to be on my contact and have a connection. So we're gaining focus, and we're gaining to the point where Tigger is starting to leave his head in a position where we can start to work with him. So you want to do that on both reins, going both directions. You don't have to stick to the barrel pattern. You can go in straight lines. You can actually move this up to a trot, but have fun with it. And most importantly, you're looking for the horse to drop its head when you pick up on rain pressure. Doing this, pulling down, is absolutely not gonna help you when you're in the saddle. And everything I teach you on the ground has to be able to transfer directly up into the saddle. So work on that. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message. I'd be more than happy to answer it. There are plenty of different situations and a lot of different scenarios for every horse. So I hope this is helpful and May all the puzzling aspects of your riding and training find a peaceful solution. So once again, I'm Tara Jones, and this is my horse, Tigger.